Hello, it's Reviews Day Tuesday and it's time for another episode of Discworld Discourses. Today I am going to be reviewing Moving Pictures. This is the 10th Discworld book by Terry Pratchett, first published in 1990. After alchemists invent moving pictures, many people find themselves mysteriously drawn to Holywood, a hill just outside of Ankh-Morpork, to seek their fortune in the clicks industry. Among them are Victor Tugelbend, a wizard dropout, Theodore Withel, also known as Ginger, Cut Me Own Throat Dibbler, and Gaspode the Wonder Dog. As I've mentioned before in Discworld Discourses, Moving Pictures was always my favourite of the early Discworld books, and that's still pretty much the case with this reread. Even though it does involve many characters and places that we have seen before, it is one of the standalone Discworld books, which makes it very easy to get into. It's the only book with Victor as a main character, it's the only Discworld book in which he appears at all, and I really like him as a character, I like the way he thinks. And I find some of the standalone Discworld books a bit weaker, because I never particularly warmed to their main character, but Moving Pictures isn't one of those for me. I really enjoy Victor's introduction at Unseen University. I think it sets him up so well, and I think that you know pretty much all you need to know about Victor within the first few pages of the book, and I love that. Also, Gaspode is one of my favourite Discworld characters, and this is his first book, and I love his relationship with Victor, and I love his relationship with Laddie, the far more photogenic canine star. One of the things that I love about this book, and one of the things that made it stand out so much when I first read it, is all of the references to films and to film studios and Hollywood cliches, this book is chock full of references and allusions and parodies. It's such a fun book to read for this reason. Even if I didn't get some of the references, I'm sure that I didn't. It's so rewarding and exciting to read, because there are all of these different layers and all these different things to enjoy and look at on every page. Most of my favourite Discworld books have that same style, that same aspect to them. You know, you have Terry Pratchett's trademark wit, and you also are constantly bombarded with uh, round world references. I would say that this book felt slightly longer the second time round. I found my mind wandering more with this reread. I think this book is maybe more impactful when you don't know what to expect. The story is quite simple as well, which makes it relatively easy to remember. So although many of the Discord books have improved in my estimations in this reread, I would say that Moving Pictures has maybe gone slightly in the other direction. It is still though one of the most fun Discord books for me to read across the whole series, and I wouldn't imagine that that would change much as I continue this reread. So, some facts about moving pictures. This book sees the first appearance of several characters, including, as I mentioned before, Gaspode the Wonder Dog, but also Ridkeley, the Arch-Chancellor of Unseen University, and Ponder Stibbons as well. It contains many references to cinema, to, among others, film studios 20th Century Fox, United Artists, Pineword, Paramount, MGM, and Columbia Pictures, to films including King Kong, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Indiana Jones, Gone with the Wind, Duck Soup, A Night at the Opera, and Lassie, and plenty of others. It's the second standalone Discworld book after Pyramids, the next one being short story Trollbridge, which I hadn't heard of until I was researching this video to be honest, and the next full-length standalone story is Small Gods. If you enjoyed this book, what do I think that you should read next? There are several others which I think of in similar terms to this one, in that they're very reference heavy. Early on in the series I would put soul music in a similar vein to moving pictures, and then later on in the series we have the truth, going postal, and making money. These are the ones that spring to my mind, but let me know in the comments below if you have any further suggestions. If you didn't get on as well with this book, the next book in the series is Reaper Man, which I remember as being very good. Men at Arms could be nice too. Again, feel free to put any more suggestions in the comments below. I will give Moving Pictures by Terry Pratchett 4 5 out of 5, so going by the ratings, Moving Pictures is currently my favourite of the reread with Guards Guards, and I'd say that's about right because Guards Guards did improve for me slightly the second time round, whereas Moving Pictures, as I said before, did slightly dip a bit. I'd really love to know what you think about Moving Pictures if you have read it. Do you agree with me? Is it one of your early favourites? Or do you feel differently? I know that um, some people don't like this book as much. The things that I love about it are the specific things that other people don't like so much about it. We're going to be continuing Discord Discourses on the first and third Tuesday of the month, so my next book review will be of Reaper Man, and that will be on the 18th of June, and the full list of Discord books and when I'm planning on reviewing them is linked in the description below. Let's move across to the end screen. If you'd like to see my latest video or some more Discord Discourses, then you can do so below me here, and you can also subscribe to my channel or visit my website if you should wish to beside me here, and if you fancy checking out my Patreon, then the link to that is in the description below. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you later on in the week.